All right, Jeff, from RV Diagnostics, we're back here. This is part two of what we call the stator and, and rotor install on a 7.5 8K generator, or anything that basically has a PMA, permanent magnet armature, which I went over on the previous video, this video one. This will be video two, just to show you how it worked out. We used some alignment rods made from uh, all right, I'll put it on the other video for you, but made from six millimeter by 1.0 threaded. All threads is what we call it. What are the bolts? All right, so the bolts in there that hold this, this has to go on first because it has the teeth in it in there. See the teeth? That's where the starter engages. I know you got a little movement. There you can see there's the starter, there's the flywheel, which is part of the PMA, permanent magnet armature. See the teeth back in there? All right, where's the next one, right? Those were 14 millimeters in there and they had to be torqued to 40, 45 foot pounds. All right, I'll show you a sheet. I'll give you a copy of that. You can look at it and print it out if you got it. And then these have to be torqued right here. But remember we used these rods in the place of this to slide this on to get, look how tight that clearance is. It don't play around now, all right? So you don't want to crack nothing. Those are magnets and they can crack easy. All right, so I'll give you a little. Uh, all right, so it was 14 millimeter. Let's see, get it right there. There you go. I used I like to use six points. And then this one here is a five millimeter. That goes for these. Okay. And then there's your threaded torque. From a, from a book I have for all this. So let's put it up here in the, in the way. All right, so we go down, right? There's your cover, air cleaner, fuel, exhaust, battery. Okay, let you get some that. So the ones we got basically are the stator mounting bolts, right? Seven to nine foot pound. This is the stator, stationary, seven to nine foot pound. The rotor flywheel mounting bolt, which they are, all right, are 40 to 43. Okay, so they've been done. There's a big, better picture of it. Take a look at it. Get it printed out to a snapshot off your camera or whatever, off your video recorder, and print that out. Or just buy the books yourself. They ain't that much. All right, so that was a quick video just to let you know how the install went. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Remember, test not guess, and don't forget about all the ways to get a hold of me. One here, if you want to chat, if you want to do this, there's several videos prior to this that where I did a complete teardown. Now I'm doing a complete rebuild. Uh, remember, test not guess. That's what we're trying to get y'all used to doing. Okay, just remember, as you are learning your RV, I'm learning how to be a better YouTuber or a, a better uh, photographer. <laughs> making videos video choreography i don't know i'm gonna do, i'm gonna get better all right i'm sitting down right now i'm taking some time march of 24 this is my final day uh going around troubleshooting everybody else's stuff i'm staying here in my garage here you go give you an idea that's my baby right there i've showed you a couple times but there you go all right here's the wall of tools i had to move that up because my toolbox is six foot by 12 foot and that's coming that's going to be there yeah i think i've showed you pictures of my toolbox before nothing big you know probably 150 grand worth of tools um here's some more stuff ac we can do it all here folks we can do the ac in your chassis ac in your toad it don't matter there's a welder there's a plasma cutter that i play with and there's a special welding machine to do um inverters that are rebuild right there yes i put chips on i even got a bathroom out here i got a little hot water tank here all right and here's the other side you can open up four slides in here eventually my lights are going to be on an angle here all right i'm putting a row of lights up here and then on this side i'm going to put see how these lights are straight all right, these are going to be an angle, so when people back in, they can see it, and I'm going to have the floor marked. Because, uh, believe it or not, <clears throat> you want to know 
why. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Video moved a little bit. Oh, uh, you wonder why that's bright orange? Because somebody backed in here right there and hit that. So I don't see how you can't see this building, but it's okay. It happens, I guess. Um, all right, here's my office. Just to give you a little insight again. There's my uh, cat getting ready to have babies. Here's my hydroponic system working. Look at that lettuce. She's growing. I got another row growing there. Uh, all right. Uh, it ain't much, you know. That's where I talk to you right there. Everybody help you troubleshoot through all that. I got another laptop that goes there. Well, hopefully that wasn't too unstabilized for you. Not too much movement. But thank you anyway. Um, thank you. This is Jeff from RV Don Osics. I'm out of here. What do we say? Safe travels may you can't fire us burn bright until the next time we meet. Where will we meet? Maybe here at this garage. Maybe on the road. I wave at everybody that has an RV. Camper, trailer, puller. Um, maybe at the, the fuel stations, whether you're getting gas or diesel. Uh, maybe at the campgrounds. Maybe on here. I don't know. We'll meet somewhere. All right, my new journey starts. March the 24th, in a couple days. New new chapter of my life. <laughs> now I gotta wait for my wife to retire, but that ain't too long. All right, thank you very much, I'm out of here.